Rowan, do you just want to give us your overall assessment first, please? Uh, yeah, we clearly started a little a little slow on the on the physical stakes. You know, they got on the front foot quite early, and you know I think the class of the opposition uh, spine capitalised on the, the momentum their big guys got. Was there anything you felt you could have done in in hindsight to sort of rescue the game back? Um, I'm not sure. Res you know, like at what point are you rescuing? I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe I could have made some more more changes earlier in the game, perhaps. Um, but I, I didn't think it was fatigue that was causing the issue. Yeah. So it was the the physicality. Did you feel? Yeah, I just felt everything was sort of rolling their their way, and even at times where we, we made, you know, a, a tackle or the ball hit the hit the ground, you know, it bounced. It was one of those days where it bounced bounced the other way, um, and that was probably due to us just not being urgent or purposeful enough at times. What about positives? Um, another opportunity next week. Uh, I thought the second half, you know, most of the second half, we were in a battle. Now that's you know, the the opposition who got the scoreboard covered at that stage. But you know, I thought we we found out about the group sticking together, and um, we were able to string a few plays together at times and send a little bit back their way. Um, but you know, they had a lot more plays than us in the first half, and and it's always hard chasing your tail. I was going to ask what what you've sort of learned from that just that first hit out of the the, the group for this year. What's what's the main takeaway? No, we, we've started a bit slow in our last preseason match, and then um, in this game as well, we, we've started a bit a little bit slow, I'd say. So that's probably something to, to think about. But you know, constantly reviewing what what I'm, my own decision making, and um, it, it's. It's round one. It's it's important for sure, and we we're all very disappointed uh, in the performance. But um, you can read a lot into it, or you can, you know, you can certainly read too much into it as well. So we'll uh, dust off and, and sort some issues out on Saturday, and then move forward. Could you give us an assessment of the the guys on debut tonight? Um, yeah, uh, I thought I thought Alfords was overall very good. Classy finish, carried the ball well in yardage, um, good energy, good body language. You know, he looked like he was he was loving wearing that jersey. Um, thought Lewis Roberts did a pretty good job as a kid. Where we're missing, you know, some some strike and some seasoned players there. But um, you know, that kid that kid's done a, a tremendous job through the preseason. I've got a lot of belief in that kid, and um, he's gonna he's gonna grow he's gonna grow with our team. Um, who else we got? Uh, Sam. 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 Sam will be better for the for the hit out. I thought I thought his second shift was was pretty good. Um, he got a taste for for how the English game is, and he he did okay. He did okay. Um, Justin and, and big Justin. Justin. Uh, Justin did alright. Yeah, he, he did. He did okay. He uh, played a good shift there, and he's not used to playing big minutes. Um, but I think he played maybe 25 or 28 minutes there or something um, from memory. So yeah, I thought you know, it wasn't an individual thing today. It was the collective efforts of each other putting them together. You know, we just couldn't. If we won a tackle, we just couldn't get the next one going. We couldn't. We couldn't build any flow to our defence or to our attack. Um, and that was a collective more than an individual thing, I reckon. Just lastly for me, there was a lot of talk about who you're going to play in the, the sensors, etc. How did you feel those combinations on the edges worked? Uh, not a day for combinations, but I, I think um, Lewis and um, and Ash both looked like comfortable. You know, not comfortable, but um, yeah, they looked like, they looked ready to play that position and. Um, yeah, we'll we'll keep assessing. I, I feel like uh, it'll evolve, and people will 
put their flag in the ground at some point, but at the moment um, it's picking our best players and then and then working out the positions after that. Thanks, Rowan. Rowan, how, how concerning was it just how easy they did, certainly that first half, just roll down the middle of the field? Like there were times where they were making just 70, 80 metres just being just simply really. Well, it's... You know, I think we read a lot into that. There was plenty of times last year where we where we won games and teams struggled to defend, uh, as struggled to score tries against us. Um, but they were they were making meters, um, so it's really the the execution of um, the opposition big play and or kick that that was key. Um, the momentum of going backwards isn't isn't a um, something we're striving for, but be, you've got to be able to tolerate it at some point. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know. We we just couldn't get anything going back the other way because then the opposition attack doesn't have as much energy if you're attacking against them. Where well, we just couldn't get the ball back off them, and partly that was because we weren't defending well enough to earn the ball back. So it's it's the the ebb and flow and the complementary nature of attack and defence helping each other. And when we got a little bit of that going end to end, we looked fine. But it's getting that bit first, which will be the focus for sure. On, on the the goal line defence, it, it seemed like at times some were pushing out, some were holding back, maybe not going in sync. Was that, is that just talking about defensive structure? Is there some logic to that? Or was it just a few misreads, just people not being in cohesion at, at times with a few of them? Oh, I'd, rather than generalising, I'd have to, you know, understand which situations you were looking for. But I, I think every coach across the league will be saying they want to get forward on the on the goal line. You want to get forward as far as you can, depending on what position you're in, whether you're a long way from the ball or close to the ball. Depends on you know influences how far you can get forward. So um, there's certainly some disconnection there, um, and and we'll we'll need to be better. Um, but I think our yardage defence is probably more more an area to, to, to improve. Just just on Sam Wilson, he said he'll be better for it. Is he still building up his fitness at this stage? Is he still having to get to where he needs to be in, in that sense? Yeah, I think so. And, um, you know, it's a big thing. It's a big thing to have a few months in limbo when the season's ended and you're waiting for visas and work permits and... Um, you get here in December and the weather's different and it's you know much shorter pre-season than what players are used to in the NRL so there's lots of things that are that are different for Sam this pre-season um, waiting for his, his missus to come over getting a house sorted and all that kind of stuff so you know I was under no illusions that it would take some time for him to get to his best um, and he, he got started tonight and he'll be better for it Any further questions? Yeah. Just gonna say, just just finally, you um, you you mentioned in the pre-season about well, you mentioned then just about starting slow. Is that something you can actually address, or is it is it like a, a mental a mental thing? I find you know I find things very hard to separate from the physical from the mental because they they both influence each other. Um, it's important to start games well, uh, but also you got to know that you're not going to start every game well and you're going to be down 6, 12 points at times and you've got to be able to recover if you want to be a good team. Um, that's how we played today. Next week will be another week.